Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It is Friday. It's April the 1st. It is April Fool's Day. We're going to come back to that. love April Fool's Day. We're going to come back to that in a minute. It's also National One Cent Day, National Sourdough Bread Day, and National Take Down Tobacco Day of Action. All of those things happening. And then I'm going to tell you in a moment here why it's April Fool's Day. But I also want to let you know my guest for today, Dr. Mayer from Expedition Bigfoot. Uh, We had a chance to talk to Dr. Mayer, I think maybe a year or two years ago. And uh, we're going to see, maybe they've caught Bigfoot now. Mm -hmm. Or maybe not. I don't know. But we're going to chat about that coming up. Now, have you ever wondered why is it called April Fool's Day? Yes, John, why? I share this every year, I think. But here's the thing. It's because this used to be New Year's Day. And I'm not kidding you. This is what it is. I looked it up. So they used to celebrate New Year's Eve on March 31st. And when they changed it, there were some people who still did. And they would wake up today with hangovers from celebrating. And they would play tricks on them. And they were the April Fools. See? Now you know. I've heard this so many times. I know. But I just want to I just want to make sure people know because a lot of people celebrate and they don't know why. Now you know. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi show on a Friday. At bettercreditcards.com, our mission is to help you get a better credit card. Why pay more interest than you need to? We have cards with amazing points and perks. If you're not a point person and just want the lowest interest rate, you can find those too at bettercreditcards.com. You can also find credit cards designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card. Give yourself a little credit at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Despite the devastating loss of life and the growing uncertainty that have the world very much on edge, there is some good news right now. And the UN's World Happiness Report And benevolence, uh, in the world's UN happiness report, they say benevolence is surging globally. So it's one key finding of the research done by the agency's Sustainable Development Solutions Network. Draws on survey from people uh, all around the world, 150 different countries. They found substantial increases in all three forms of benevolence that are asked about in the poll. Donating to charity is up. Helping strangers in need is up. And volunteering is up. Well, that's all good news. Especially help when it comes to helping strangers. They were all up by about 25% in every region of the world compared to pre-pandemic levels, according to the report. So if anything good came out of the last not-so-great two years, maybe that's it. And here's the thing. We don't need a pandemic to help each other. You can do that anytime. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. It's Bernie Carrick, former New York City Police Commissioner. If you own a gun, you need to check out StopBoxUSA.com, the safest solution to keep a firearm in your home and get instant, reliable access to that gun. It's an awesome weapon retention product, especially if you have little kids at home or frequent visitors. Get access to your gun in under a second. StopBox is the safest solution to keep a firearm in your home. Use discount code RADIO to save 10% at StopBoxUSA.com. You need to check out StopBoxUSA.com. Did you know? Brought to you by RadioTravelGroup.com. Heidi, did you know? Lily Bullen, a spirited grandmother of five and a great-grandmother of four, just turned 102 last month. Oh, wow. And how did she celebrate? Probably the way Heidi will. She celebrated the way she has her entire life, donning some shots of tequila. I was just going to say tequila. Yeah. She is 102, and she had tequila. She's in England. She credits her spunk and her long life to a little friend called Tequila. That's awesome. Mexican liquor and her Domino's pizza and sausage rolls and cream cakes. A girl. Her advice for youngsters, live one day at a time because tomorrow is never promised. That's true. So her credit for long life is Tequila. I love that Sausage rolls and cream cakes. That's fantastic. Well, then I'm going to live to be about 900. (laughs) Okay, probably not. There you go. I don't know everything, but now we know this. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. The Connors star, Sarah Gilbert, has signed on for a role in the 80 for Brady 
show. It's a star-studded what? road trip movie being produced by Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterback Tom Brady, oh. seven-time Super Bowl champ. I don't know, you might have heard of him before. Uh, other folks that are going to be involved, Jane Fonda, Rita Morano, uh, Lily, I'm sorry, yeah, Sally Field, Lily Tomlin. It's inspired by a true story of four New England Patriot fans who went on a life-changing trip to see Brady play in the Super Bowl back in 2017. So huh. there you go. Uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has always been a ladies' man, and that explains a photo from 1994 with him wearing a fanny pack. It shows him <laughs> rocking a stylish black turtleneck, silver chains and jeans, and, of course, an incredible haircut and a fanny pack. Anyway, in here they're talking about uh, what what it was like back then and whatnot. I'm going to read all that, but I'm going to get on to this next story. Somebody just spent a whole bunch of money on a house that used to belong to Bing Crosby. Used to have parties there with people like Marilyn Monroe and JFK. Uh, can you imagine? Uh, sold for $4 million. I bet. Some of the neighbors, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., Lucille Ball. I mean, it's quite the quite the story. Yeah, this that's whole. pretty cool. I've got all of these stories, if you want to read all of the details, in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. The Vegas Travel Center is offering three days and two nights accommodations to Vegas. They'll completely waive the package price, plus you get tickets to your choice of activities as well as meals. Jump on this now. Obviously, a deal like this isn't going to last. When they're gone, they're gone. So don't miss out. Just call 605-210-5220 and they'll get you set up for a great getaway. Call now for this special radio offer. 605-210-5220. That's 605-210-5220. Now your scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. Audi is delivering something, even though apparently nobody's really asking for it. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe they are. They're announcing Beginning this summer, they're going to offer an option of a virtual reality entertainment system in select vehicles. That sounds like a bad idea. That to sounds me. like a really bad idea. They say, idea. don't worry, it's available only in the back seat. Tech startup, Holo Ride or Hollow Ride, like hologram, Hollow Ride. They promise to turn vehicles into moving theme parks. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the passengers will be able to blend what they see on an actual journey with augmented reality elements through motion synchronization technology. Riders will be able to fly over rainforests or enter virtual offices to join a work call, all from the back seat of the car. According to the company, Holoride, like I said, hologram with the word ride at the end, Holoride, says the technology adapts the experiences to each trip's length, location, and the driving style of the person at the wheel to offer new content every time you climb into the car. As for the future, the company sees a world where self-driving vehicles could also let the driver enjoy all of this as well as the passengers so they could work or learn or play games all while on the go. I've got a link to a video if you want to see all the details on that. I don't think I'm ready for that part of the future. And uh, Italian researchers have teamed up with an AI system to predict if a relationship will stand the test of time. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's a good idea. Use a complex machine learning process to determine the most important predictors of union dissolution among over 2,000 married or cohabitating couples. In short, through the magic of computers, they will reveal the two key factors to predict if your marriage is doomed. Those factors are, number one, the life satisfaction of both partners, and number two, the female partner's percentage of housework. So according to this, like how much of the housework the female partner is doing compared to the male. Mm. So according to these key findings, my wife and I have been married for 22 years, and it's going to last about eight more minutes. <laughs> All right, maybe maybe not. I didn't read the study. That is your scoop of the day. Comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. Aloha. Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? GMDvacations.com is a family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Kauai, Hawaii. Your family will absolutely love the area, and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can have your own area at a vacation rental from GMD Vacations? Visit Hawaii with us and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. On Facebook and Instagram, online at gmdvacations.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Friday. Our guest today is Dr. Mayer from Expedition Bigfoot. Now, we've had a chance to visit in the past. I think it might have been the first season, and now we've got season three of Expedition Bigfoot out. Holy cow. I know. Uh, Last year, we were rushed out of Washington State because of these devastating wildfires, just as we were really coming close to to getting some answers. And it was great to be able to go back there and and basically 
pick up right where we left off, which I wasn't sure if that would be possible, but boy, did it, it did not disappoint. So as you're out now, season three, Expedition Bigfoot, and I, I know it's long days, but what would you say is like the most exciting thing you've come across while you're filming this? Oh boy, I can't say both too many details, but I will tell you that there, there were several of these moments, one in particular that keeps me up at night. And it's it's a funny thing for me as a scientist because I'm always looking for tangible, physical, you know, irrefutable evidence. And there are moments in the field that I witness something that science can't explain, but it also cannot be dismissed. And there's this one particular moment where I I still, to this day, I think it's this is the closest we have ever come. And I think it's going to surprise a lot of people. When, when they see what I'm talking about. This topic kind of divides people. There are some who absolutely believe Bigfoot is real. There are some who absolutely believe Bigfoot is not real. When you started this project, were you a believer? And are you more of a believer now? Uh, well, n- neither. Um, so as a scientist, right, belief is not something that I can put a lot of weight on. So what I believe, it doesn't really matter. What I'm looking for is, is physical, irrefutable evidence that is really going to move the needle in the scientific world. And so when I first started these expeditions, honestly, I had never really given much thought to Bigfoot, didn't know much about it other than I'd I'd heard about Bigfoot, but I wasn't really familiar with with the lures. Uh, Going now into my third expedition with this team, I am starting to see that there is something very, there's a lot to the mystery. I mean, we, we, we know we have tens of thousands of eyewitness reports. The way I look at it is, even if they're all, not true. All it takes is for one of them to be true, for this expedition to be a worthwhile pursuit. And what I'm finding more and more is that a lot of what happens surrounding, you know, Bigfoot cannot be explained by science. And that's something that I'm I'm trying to come to to terms with uh, because I need that physical, tangible evidence, but I don't want to be close-minded about the other things that seem to add a lot to this mystery in, in solving it. And something I think is interesting, in 1847, I just Googled it to find out, that's the year they discovered for sure that gorillas existed. So in 1846, gorillas didn't exist. They were like Bigfoot today. But in 1847, they discovered for sure that gorillas exist. Now they're everywhere. And I think it could very much be the same type of thing. Just because we don't have one in captivity doesn't mean they don't exist. And, and- not at all, and I, it's funny, I use that example all the time because I work with gorillas in, in Congo, and western lowland gorillas are the eight that we know least about in the wild, even though they're the ones that you actually see in zoos. And one of the things that I tell people is that you could be standing just two feet away from an entire family of these gorillas, the silverbacks weighing up to 400 pounds, and not ever hear them or know that they're there. And I think that when you look at the animal kingdom overall, you'll see that animals have adapted in ways, you know, even in physical ways, right, where they are able to camouflage and blend completely into their surroundings that we just, uh, we don't understand and we're obviously not capable of doing. So you have to be able to think beyond what you might expect to what's possible. And all of these things are possible. We discover new species of animals all the time, every year. So the possibility is certainly out there. Again, the program Expedition Bigfoot, Season 3, and people can see that now on Travel Channel and Discovery+. Plus. If they want to catch up on Season 1 and 2, are there places where we can watch those as well still? Yes. So you can watch it on Discovery+. Plus. It's streaming, and you can catch the pre-show with Jane Goodall and then our, our premiere episode. And then, of course, on Travel Channel, every Sunday, new episodes drop. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Mayor. We appreciate it. Thank you. Again, Expedition Bigfoot is out right now. Season 3 just kicked off on the Travel Channel and on Discovery+. Plus. I'll throw a link to all of the information in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Friday. At BetterCreditCards.com, our mission is to help you get a better credit card. Why pay more interest than you need to? We have cards with amazing points and perks. If you're not a point person and just want the lowest interest rate, you can 
can find those too at BetterCreditCards.com. You can also find credit cards designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card. Give yourself a little credit at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The two highest IQ scores recorded in the world both belong to women. Both. Really? Yeah, yeah. I got a couple more IQ things. I'm going to actually put these right up here. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Scientists have found the higher your IQ, the more often you dream. Heidi dreams all the time. <laughs> I do dream all and the time. And listen to this. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Research shows people who laugh at dark jokes, Heidi, have higher IQs and fewer <laughs> aggressive tendencies. I'm sitting here with a genius. <laughs> All right. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? To snurtle means to laugh with snorts. Mm. Uh huh. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Fish are the only, I'm sorry, sharks are the only fish that can blink. <laughs> I guess I goofed that one up. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? <laughs> Tigers cannot purr. When they're happy or feel safe, they squint or close their eyes completely. Oh. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Couples who diet while on vacation argue three times more often. Yeah, I'm sure <laughs> of that. I wonder why. Yeah. All right. Thanks for listening to several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. It's Bernie Carrick, former New York City Police Commissioner. If you own a gun, you need to check out StopBoxUSA.com, the safest solution to keep a firearm in your home and get instant, reliable access to that gun. It's an awesome weapon retention product, especially if you have little kids at home or frequent visitors. Get access to your gun in under a second. StopBox is the safest solution to keep a firearm in your home. Use discount code RADIO to save 10% at StopBoxUSA.com. You need to check out StopBoxUSA.com. Time now for the question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of RadioTravelGroup.com. Here's the question. When it comes to our cars, 19% of us have one of these inside. I think Heidi does, but it's uh, it's only when she's in there. Uh, what do you think it is? When it comes to our cars, 19% of us have one of these inside. What do you think it is? Something I just learned about that I didn't know you had. Only until... when I'm in there. Yeah, I'll tell you the answer. Everybody, okay. shout it out if you want to shout it out so you guys all sound smart. I also share this, by the way, every day on uh, social media, but I don't put the answer there. I put the answer in the show notes, and then we give you the answer here. And if you're not following us on social media, uh, I'll tell you how to do that. Is it Four Leaf Clover? Uh, well, I'll tell you in a second. Facebook.com slash John and Heidi Show is how you follow us on uh, on Facebook. And the answer is, when it comes to these, I'm sorry, when it comes to our cars, 19% of us have one of these inside. The answer is a lucky charm. So oh. yeah, in your case, she carries a four-leaf clover. Been married 22 years. I found that out last month. <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi show on a Friday. The Vegas Travel Center is offering three days and two nights accommodations to Vegas. They'll completely waive the package price. Plus, you get tickets to your choice of activities as well as meals. Jump on this now. Obviously, a deal like this isn't going to last. When they're gone, they're gone. So don't miss out. Just call 605-210-5220 and they'll get you set up for a great getaway. Call now for this special radio offer. 605-210-5220. That's 605-210-5220. Now some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. There's a big wheelie uh, thing going on here on social media. I'm not exactly sure what this means, but Ryan Nixon from uh, Auckland, New Zealand, went on Twitter back on March 5th and says, does the world have more wheels or more doors? A lot of people had to chime in on this. Over 15,000 likes and 4,500 retweets. More than that, I'm sure, by now. Okay, they say, well, there's wheels on everything. I have wheels on my garment rack that make up storage holders and rubbish bins, and it's definitely got to be wheels. Then there's says, there's double the number of homes in the world than there are cars and other buildings, shops, businesses. So on top of that, most vehicles also have doors. Yeah. So you have to count four doors. doors on a lot of cars. Yeah. Do and- we count the steering wheel? How about the spare tire as a wheel? Wheels are constructed, and they uh, wheels construction. And are we counting like matchbox cars? You know how many matchbox cars yeah. are? There's little wheels on matchbox. But they say cars. wheeled constructions like cars always have doors, but there are some doors that don't have wheels. So out of the 223,000 people involved in this, 46% thought that there were probably more doors. 53% thought more wheels. I don't know. I just think it's weird we even care. Or do we? I mean, I don't. It's Weird News brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. 
Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Things found during spring cleaning. I think this is really funny. People chimed in online to add to this list. Things you found that you forgot you even had in some cases while spring cleaning. (laughs) A box of five and a half inch quarter floppy disks. (laughs) Wow. Probably don't have a computer. It's been a while since you cleaned. Yeah. Another one, vintage hairballs, courtesy of Fluffy, uh, a pet they Ew. don't even have anymore. Yeah. Uh, how about a copy of Purple Rain? Oh, that's a yeah. good find. This is one that was supposed to be given. He, this person thought the girlfriend stole it when she left in 1998. And I was like, oh, hey, as it turns out. <laughs> My bad. I owe her an apology. <laughs> A very a very valuable collection of fridge mold. Ten years it's Ew. been fermenting. Stockpile of microwave popcorn with Y2K information on it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the year 2000. That's from the 90s. Uh, garbage Pail Kids cards. I have some of those. If you want to read the rest of this list, uh, you can find it. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Aloha. Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? GMDVacations.com is a family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Kauai, Hawaii. Your family will absolutely love the area, and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can have your own area at a vacation rental from GMDVacations.com? Visit Hawaii with us and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. On Facebook and Instagram, online at GMDVacations.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. This is from Mortimer Brewster. It was actually Cary Grant who played Mortimer Brewster in Arsenic and Old Lace. The quote is, insanity runs in my family. It practically gallops. (laughs) (laughs) I like that. I think that's really, really fun. Uh, That, by the way, a little quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. But I want to remind you, if you come across a quote somewhere or there's just something that you think of when we mention this quote of the day and you go, oh, hey, this would be a fun quote. You could submit those right at the bottom of the page at johnandheidyshow.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. Uh, here's the headline. Four tigers rescued after being locked in a train car for 15 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Four Bengal tires wow. rescued from captivity going to spend the rest of their days in a big cat sanctuary in South Africa. They lived in a train car that was converted into a cage in Argentina for 15 years. A traveling circus abandoned the now 18-year-old male and 15-year-old female tiger in 2007. Oh, my gosh. A local farmer agreed to look after the pair for a temporary period. Well, they never came back. And then they eventually had two cubs. The tigers, uh, let's see, the names are Sandro... Malfalda, Messi, and Gustavo. I did not name them, but those are cool names for tigers. Uh, They now call Lion's Rock Big Cat Sanctuary in South Africa home. And uh, there's a video on here. You can see them. And then uh, it says these tigers have never felt grass under their paws. Oh, poor things. Veterinarian with uh, Four Paws International led the rescue operation. It said it's the first time they can see sky above them and not just metal bars and a roof. The challenges of transporting them from Argentina to South Africa, which are very, very far away from each other, were very complex, ranging from getting permits with all the different authorities in both countries involved in transporting uh, large animals like this, because you can't just get them a pass on an airplane. Sure. Well, yeah. Even first class wouldn't allow that, so I'm just saying. (laughs) Uh, Anyway, Lion's Rock has rescued over 150 big cats from all over the world. And if you want to read the rest, I've got a link in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Friday.